good morning and welcome to today's upload my name's emma make sure you subscribe and stick around each week i upload a little vlog of a few days or a day or just a vlog oh you can see the bra on my door handle curses um it is half past seven in the morning i have just took up my 10 year old little breakfast in bed treat today because she gets up a bit later than Ethan. Ethan was up at six as per usual and I sat down with him and he was watching lots of videos about hamsters. I'm just about to feed all the animals um, so I've cut up some fruit and some veg and some bits and bobs and um, so I feed them and then the kids can get them out and have a little play before school. So if you are new here, I have a dog and we recently got two hamsters, one hamster, two rats. Um, but today's an exciting day, I'm going to get my hair cut. I haven't had my hair cut since September 2019, I don't think. I mean, that's a long time. Stephen has been cutting it for me, so it definitely needs a good cut. I'm gonna get nice and washed and cut and maybe like curled or something i don't know so that'll be really nice today and then at some point hopefully when stephen's on his lunch break he's still working from home part of the week um we will pop out and go and pick a carpet because we're gonna start on our top top which is like our little office upstairs we've got the paint we've got the wallpaper we just need to order the we just need to order the carpet I'm going to go and pick some carpet today. I'm also going to pop to Poundland. I haven't been for ages. I'm going to pop to Poundland, see if I've got any pet stuff in. And also I'm going to go to Pets at Home, which is virtually next to the Poundland, to um, somebody suggested, I can't remember if it was on here or on Instagram, for the rats to get some parrot toys. So I'm going to get some parrot toys to hang down and fill the rat cage up with stuff. So that is the plan today. Come along with me. Um, also, I've been working on some fun um, Brummy Mummy mugs, which is like my kind of little small shop. Um, so I'll chat about that later because we're working on some stationery. That's really exciting. Uh, right, I'm gonna feed the animals and I'm gonna make myself a little, look a little bit more presentable. And then I'll come back to you. Oh, just before I go, I said to Stephen, what should I do with my hair? And he said, just the same, just a bit shorter. I was like, something it's not that helpful. Just to say the same, but just a bit shorter. So I'm not sure you'll see a dramatic change. I ha I know some of you out there um, are quite keen for me to get it dyed professionally. So I may do that next time, but at the moment I just want to cut to tide me over for a month or so. Right, let's go. Right guys, I'm all ready. Um, took the kids to school, they were really happy. Ethan's, like, you know, he's a vegetarian, he's got his hamster, and they're learning about um, plants and stuff. He's just showing this real, like, love of animals and plants and the world, and it's something that he really is really keen about. This morning, he just watched loads of hamster videos. He was saying, we need to get um, this and that and can you check that the wheel's not a wire wheel and it wasn't and we had to measure it and it was awful he's just like he's like a real force a literally of nature and i am here for it so here's last look of the slightly it doesn't actually doesn't actually look that bad to be honest last look at the slightly dirty hair um i'm going to go to the hairdressers now i just sent a little bit of work over i'm actually going to take a book with me i am currently reading Marion Key's Grown Ups, which is taking me, a big wobbly bit of hair, which is taking me a while, it's brilliant, um, but you might have seen on Instagram that I went back to therapy, I'm not sure if I talked about it on here, and one of the things I really wanted to tackle is that I struggle to relax, like I struggle to read, um, like even if I'm watching Real Housewives of New Jersey or whatever, I'm always like, organising a drawer or putting the wash on or putting the vacuum on. So I'm really trying to like be mindful and sit and read. I am about two thirds of the way through. It's a big old book. So I'm going to take this with me um, because we have masks on so we won't be like doing too much chatting. But it is a really good book. What other book? Oh, another good book that I loved. And I did put this on my stories, but I loved it. 
This is the Fear Fighter Manual and it's by Lovey and she's on Instagram. She's got a great Instagram account as well. It's brilliant. Um, it's really, really good. It's about like, it's about like comparing yourself to other people. It's about being judged. It's about, um, you know, sometimes I worry that I'm a bit loud or, you know, last week I was worrying that like you thought I was a bit silly because I had like um, no makeup on and stuff like that and it's a really 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 good book and I'll link both of those below and my sister recommended me but it is brilliant and her Instagram account is really good as well so they're two good little book recommendations right I'm going to leave you here grab my book I've got my mask I'm going to shove a headband in shove my sunglasses on because it's actually quite warm today um, I have got uh, my ASOS dress on and I've got my snags on so if you are a lady or a man, actually I don't know, maybe do men wear them, maybe, or a person that struggles with a bit of chub rub. I love me my snags, um, especially because I'm going to go for quite a bit of a walk to get to the hairdressers now. Right guys, I will see you in a bit. There we go guys, I opted for the centre part in. Not sure if I'm going to keep it, but um... She said if you have a centre part in, you can make it go side part in. If you have your hair cut in a side part in, you can't make it go centre part in. So I've gone for centre part in. I'm not going to lie, when I got home, I noticed I had a few grey hairs. <laughs> I've, never, I've never had grey hairs with a side part in. Excuse me please, excuse me what? Excuse me hell to the no? So that's a bit worrying. Um... Yeah, so next time I'm probably going to have something done with my colour, but at the moment um, it's okay because it's darker at the top and it goes light at the bottom. It's just, you know, the way it is. But yeah, we will see if I keep it. After having a side part in for, I'm going to say since I was 16, my head feels weird. I feel a bit all off kilter. I'm like, ooh. Um, I did pop to Boots, so I'll show you a few bits and pieces that I got from there. Um, and I'm going to go and look at carpets now. Um, I won't be able, I won't take you, but I'm, I think I'm going to take a few photos, like and insert it so you can see what kind of carpet we're going for. It's hard when you've got a mask on. It's also quite hot today. I've had to put, I don't know if you can see, I've had to put my sandals on. I still can't get used to it. I feel like my head's like on back to front. It is weird but I think I like it I hope you like it don't tell me if you don't like it <laughs> I, I'm not I'm too fragile to know your real thoughts right guys I'll go to the carpet shop and Panland and I'll come back and we can chat carpets I bet you can't wait we're back the centre party managed to last a trip to the um to the carpet shop I just think it looks so much better on camera than I feel like it looks in real life we'll see if it stays you'll see um but at least i've got the option of doing both ways so yeah we went to the carpet shop i'm gonna go downstairs because also i've got some bits and pieces we went to the carpet shop and um we have opted for like a it's quite cold now it was um I don't recognise myself. Quite, it's quite cold now. It was, it was, it was quite warm, but now it is gone and killed. Um, so we've opted for, which I will insert here, um, a grey because we did kind of our original thoughts were to have like a, quite a nice beigey, like a really trendy carpet. But I think, Erin is 10 now, and I think, I'm just taking my shoes off, I think at some point in the next, like, three years, I reckon she'll want to go and have her bedroom upstairs, because I think that's what she'll do, because I know if I was a teenager, I'd have been like, can I go upstairs, please? So we've gone for, like, um, a nice light grey colour, nice kind of thick carpet so it's nice and cozy and then if she wants to go up there she's got like a nice carpet uh the color that we're having on one of the walls is pink and the wallpaper i've got is like a pinky kind of design and pink and gray always goes quite well and also we've got the pink couch up there from erin's old bedroom so 
I'm hopeful that'll look nice. We should be done. I think the carpet comes in about two to three weeks, which means we need to get decorating. Which means we need to get decorating sooner rather than later. I can't stop. sometimes like stop looking at your hair and falling into your own face in the camera right i did pop to poundland um uh, to get some bits and pieces so i'll hang on two seconds Stephen got some um picks and snacks for the kids pat lunches as well so we went to poundland and it's not like a huge Hall, really just some little bits and bobs um obviously Stephen went in his lunch break so we weren't there too long um for the pets i want a designated i want a designated just pan and bush upstairs um so i'm gonna leave the old one upstairs and i said look at this from how cute is that because so that was one pound fifty so this can now be our downstairs one how fancy am I having two? It's just, obviously like if you're brushing up like rat way and stuff, I don't want it then pushing up stuff off my kitchen floor. Which I think is a perfectly reasonable request. What else did I get from Poundland? Oh, oh, I got this, which I'm hoping to use in the rat's cage and fashion as some sort of like climby thing. So that was good. And then we popped to a shop that I have. Oh, what's that shop called, Stephen? Um, bargain Boys. I don't know if it's a Birmingham thing. I don't know if it's a, a a chain thing. I don't know what, do you know? I don't know what it is, like a bargain shop. You know, you get those bargain shops and places. And I picked up two things to put rat food and hamster food in separately so the kids can have them in their bedroom and you know also i said Stephen, oh, what i really want is a scoop and he went what like those oh, some little scoops. how cute are those they'd be quite good if you had like um a cereal bar do people have cereal bars in their houses i mean i don't I mean, if you lived in like a Premier Inn and you had your own breakfast bar, but like a little scoop so they can scoop, scoop out food. I picked up some rat food and some hamster food because we'll be running out soon. What else did I get? So that's a little bargain shop and then we popped a pet at home. And I got for the rat's cage, you'll be like, Emma, we don't, you need to stop showing us stuff you're buying for the rats. So this might be the last time I ever do it. I bought like a climbing thing, um, which is for parrots, but it means they could climb across it as well. I bought a handy thing, which is for wraps. That wasn't from the, uh, and then I bought a little toilet roll thing, one for the hamsters and one for the rats to run through. And just a few new little toys. I think it's already broken. I think it must be this. Also, I popped to Boots and I got some purple shampoo, which I've never used, as you can see, because my hair's quite warm at the top. And I, as I mentioned earlier, I am thinking about you going to get... So the hairdresser suggested that, like, the colour at the bottom of my hair is really lovely, but then it does, it does kind of get darker at the top i mean especially now i've had the part input in so she suggested alternating it in between and she said holly willoughby does this she suggested alternating in between using the hair dye that i use and then ever so often getting like um foils put in at the top to kind of lighten it up and then i mentioned you might have seen on instagram i use like a pink spray not, not that long ago I mentioned I quite like to go pink and she said I need to get like the top bits as as blonde as the bottom bit. I don't know why I have this aversion to getting my hair dyed in the hair salon. I think it's just because I'm a bit tight. I liked the option of dyeing my hair myself. So I have bought some purple shampoos. 
Um, let me know if you have any good recommendations for stuff like that. I've always found that I make my hair feel a bit horrible, but I think I probably need to use them. And also, a couple of hair dyes. So I might, because it is really dark, look. I might dye my hair one more time. And then that will give me six weeks to decide what I want to do. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give him a six, self, six weeks to decide. Dye, dye it with the middle part in, see how that looks. I don't think you can see, but there was definite greys there and there wasn't greys when I had a side part in. What's that all about? Right, I'm going to tidy up all this stuff and do a little bit of work and then I'll come back to you. The hair went down a treat with the kids. So that's good. Um, just put the rack toys away. Um, the hamster didn't need any because we ordered a big set last week so he's got loads anyway I am actually going to put my pyjamas on and I'm going to play with the kids and what I'm going to do is I am going to come back tomorrow or maybe the next day to see if I could, let's see let me know in the comments now if I manage to keep my hair the centre um, who's that at the door? <laughs> he, yeah, you can go and have a snack, gorgeous. Um, have an after school hat. He won, um, Dojo. Dojo's, which is like a little, little prize at school today. So that's good. He won a bookmark. What a day. So, the next shot you'll be seeing me either go, Yeah, I did it all. Mm, my hair just went back to normal. Sorry, I'm back in. He wanted me to show you what he won. He won a Winnie Tigger Piglet Eeyore little bookmark, which is all laminated. Is this your special prize bookmark then? Yeah, I, I pick it. You picked it. What, what were the other choices? Um, there was like other bookmarks. There was like, like notepads and then there was pencils. And you went for the Disney bookmark. Good yeah. choice. Well done. We're <laughs> very proud of you. <laughs> It's the next day and it didn't go over the side. I managed to wash it and um, it's straight. So I think, I mean, I might, might change my mind. But I think what I will do is um, I will perhaps, because I wash my hair every day, but perhaps I might wash my hair every other day. So one day I'll have it like straight and then the next day I can wave it because I do think I prefer it a bit wavier. Hello, it's Editor Emma here. I'm watching this clip back and I'm realising that the part in I thought was in the middle wasn't in the middle. So, I think this is in the middle, but am I going to edit this? But yes, um, I re-dyed my hair and apologies for me filming all this thinking the part in the middle for this straight section. Simply isn't. I'm trying to get a bit of boomf. But I managed to do it and it didn't. I thought I'd wake up in the morning and it had all gone over the side, but it hadn't. So that's really, really, really excellent news. Um, I've got the house myself today because Stephen, I'm just walking around, I don't know what, what, what I walked around for. Stephen um, has to go into the office a couple of days a week in England. You're still encouraged to work from home, but because he. Um, works in like the construction industry sometimes she has to go in to do things like measure stuff i don't understand it but that's what he has to do so he's kind of going in a few days so i'm on by myself with the ratty mcrats they're asleep and happy um so what i was going to talk to you about if you follow my brummy mummy mugs instagram account um i sometimes ask for like opinions on you know, products I want to bring out, and we're hoping to bring out some stationery. And uh, not, we're hoping to, we are bringing out some stationery. We're bringing out some stationery. We are bringing out um, a to do list. So, what I want to know is let me know in the comments what kind of things you like to have on a to do list. So, I was thinking of an ex, I've asked family and friends as well, and also like people who follow the account. I have got like a little section to tick off because we like ticking off stuff. Um, a section for stuff to remember for the next day. Um, my friend Sheila and a couple of people actually mentioned how about a section for like me time or things to look forward to. Also I'm going to put on like a tracking section because I know some people like to track how much water they drink or perhaps they could track like hormones or periods or 
exercise or how many episodes of Real Housewives of New Jersey they've got left to watch. I don't know, you can track whatever you want, but I'm going to leave it like plain so you're not, you don't have to like track the same thing every day or whatever. So let me know in the comments. Um, I've just had my Disney inspired tote bags. Um, it takes such a long time. Let me have a, let me know if you ever want me to do like a video or I could mention a vlog. It takes quite a long time to get a product approved, so I have to have a. So if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have um, like um, a small shop, and we sell large mugs. Um, we have got some stickers coming up, and also I've got some, we have some tote bags and stuff. So to get a product, I have like a. Um, I have to send a brief over to our lovely designer Josie and then Josie sends back some designs and then I have to like approve them or tweak them. Then they go over to um, the mug company or the like kind of merch company and then they have to like tweak them to fit onto the mug or the bag. Then you have to send that over to the mug and bag company then they have to send you a sample and it just takes such a long time it, it it takes a really long time so um i've had the samples for the stickers they're looking great i'm waiting for the samples for the mugs we are going to be doing small mugs we're also looking at doing travel mugs which i'm really excited about i'm really excited about a travel mug especially as so many of us are going on walks all the time and it's uh, we sat in people's gardens and it's come into the summer and we'll be out and about and like for the school run or if you're going to college so i'm super excited about them um that's new um and so is the stationery so i will keep you posted but as i say if you ever want me to do like a more day in the life of what kind of work i do um I'm also working on writing something at the moment. So I'm doing a bit of writing at the moment. Uh, that is what I will be spending my day doing today. I've got um, a nice good chunk of writing to do and I like to write in my bed. And I don't know if that's a bad thing. <laughs> I can't work out. I'm in my bed and I'm like in my soft office as people call it and I'm like, but this is where I feel the most inspired. Um, so, yeah, I will probably... I'll go and have a drink. Just look at the rat sleeping. I'll probably go and have a drink and then get into bed, have my emails up and write at the same time so I can reply to emails. And it just makes me laugh that I'm, like, running my business um, with a duvet over me. What a lucky lady. I bet lots of you out there are, like maybe having to go to an office and you would love to do that so i'm very very thankful so yeah let me know if you ever want me to i don't know if you're interested let me know um i am going to leave the video here thanks for following me on my hair journey um i know lots of you will have input just be kind i'm only human um it's still it still makes my head feel weird and I went when I was walking from the school gate back to the car like a gust of wind kind of blew it all like back again so it it was uh it was weird but uh, right okay guys I'm talking a load of old rubbish I will see you in another few days I'm really hoping that um the next video will be like uh, me visiting um the new outlet in the Midlands that's what I'm hoping if I can get to go I'm just trying to fit it in so I can get to go and have a little mooch around there. There's a Yankee Candle outlet shop. <sighs> the thought of that alone thrills me. A Yankee Candle outlet shop. So, right guys, I will see you soon. Have a lovely day. Stay safe and I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy. Bye guys.